Just one clap? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Storage Podcast. And I'm your host, Libby Higgins. She's licking you. She is licking you, and she licks you too. Oh. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Storage Podcast. We have the world's favorite storage guest. No. Sis Higgins. No, I'm not the favorite. And I, every time I show Sis on, on, the, on the internet, I have to say, yes, she's wearing a mask. And don't say things like, COVID's not real. Why are you wearing a mask, you <laughs> liberal cuck? Why are you wearing a mask, you idiot who believes in covid and it's not because she is about sickness what's it about sis uh my dog maxwell tore up my teeth and what do you mean by teeth tore them up my dentures i had them up on the kitchen counter by the cat food because i usually couldn't eat with them so i put them up there and maxwell got up there wanting monty's food and he like slid him down and he's like, oh man, something new to play with. And I'm sitting in the living room. I'm like, is he like chewing on a glass? Because it's like, you know, it's like real crackly. And I went in there, he's all sitting there chewing it up, having a good old time. Now, did it, did it sit on his palate like a pair of dentures? I, that's why I don't believe those videos on TikTok of pets wearing people's dentures because there's no way in hell that would work. No, he was just tearing it up. He wasn't eating it. He was just, you know, tearing it up. And what was your initial response? I was like, oh, no. <laughs> and then dollar bills started going through my mind. I'm thinking, <laughs> what's going to cost to replace these things? How many months have you been without them? Since June, June of this year. July, August, September. <laughs> so four months of no teeth. No, it's been, it, it's really starting to get on my damn nerves now. And what do you eat? Well, I can pretty much, well, yeah. Hmm. I mean, I eat my normal things during the day, crackers and cheese and sodas. Um, you know, we got our regular dinner junk that we eat. What's a favorite uh, dinner that you would make for that you and your encore husband? encore beef patties. You know it's good because it's like three ninety eight for a whole big box of a uh, frozen meal. Is it all beef or is it, say, like made from chicken rib? Why well, I don't look at the box. I just turn it on and put it in there and rip off the plastic paper and cook away. What do you serve with a... With a, a dollar bag of um, mashed potatoes and a can of sore peas. Ew. It's my favorite meal. And what does your husband think about he that He eats it. <sighs> okay. And wow. then I eat like cottage cheese and uh, I can eat toot small Tootsie Rolls without my teeth. What? You're just gumming a Tootsie Roll? I have no prop with that. It's actually probably safer because anytime I eat a Tootsie Roll, it feels like all my teeth are going to be pulled out of my head. Yeah. I really want a bit of honey. But Ooh. I know that ain't going no place. Oh, look at Annie. Everybody's excited for me to be back in or be in the basement because they get to see Annie. Hello, Annie. You want to sit on mommy? No, she doesn't. Yes, yeah, she does. Look at her. Forced affection. Oh. Oh. No, Forced affection. Look at her. Yeah, she's loving it. Hi, everybody. My name is Annie and I, people say I'm fat, but I'm not. She ain't got no neck. Excuse me? <laughs> she couldn't wear a turtleneck. Her neck is right there. She'd wear one of those mock turtleneck shirts if she was required to wear a turtleneck for the day. She doesn't need to wear turtlenecks. She doesn't have a... Ju now her bee hole's right in the camera. Whoopsie. All right, honey. Just sit down. I had to buy one of those combs that rakes all the hair because she's shedding so yeah. bad right now. Am I breathing heavily because of this mask? No. Okay. Yep, I'm sorry. Not breathing at all. Uh-oh, well, that sounds lovely. <laughs> Poor sis ain't got no teeth. And then the fool tore up my glasses, 
And I got medical tape on the arm so they'll won't hurt my ears to wear. <laughs> you should get a shelf that is about four feet above your head, and then you can put your teeth and glasses and anything else that might be important up there. Now, do you really think I'll remember that? Yeah. No, I won't. When you get your new dentures in October, where will you place them? Um, hopefully somewhere safe. I put them in the bathroom cabinet. Yeah, that's probably what I'll probably be do. Because when I take my teeth out, I don't care where I am. I even if they don't have a dog, my one of my biggest fears is that a dog will get it and chew on them. So I'll put them in a denture cup and then put them up somewhere. I have a denture cup in my bathroom cabinet. I also think about earthquakes. So I never just take my teeth and place them on a counter or a thing because I think if there's an earthquake, something's going to fall and break them. I can't think that far in advance. Well, I do because I don't want to be in the situation <laughs> you're in, walking around <laughs> no like teeth. toothless Sally. Oh, God, it's horrible. And I look like a freaking Skeletor, <laughs> an overweight Skeletor. Speaking of Skeletors... um. God, she is shedding everywhere. We, uh, in this household, we have not one but two 12-foot skeletons. Yes. And if you don't know what, uh-oh, somebody's coming. Probably Maggie pulling up. If you don't know what a 12-foot skeleton looks like, just type into Google. Go to google.com and type in 12-foot skeleton Home Depot. Oh, is that the Home Depot? And don't look at the price because you'll say... But it's got to be worth it. I mean, that thing is massive. It's it's as taller than our roof. Yeah. And it's fu- it's funny to look. And the eyeballs light up. The eyeballs light up and go. You can do flames or blue eyes or. Hearts. Cat eyes. Hearts, yeah. That would make sense in a skeleton. It was a very frivolous buy. But again, if I make content with it, I can consider it a business cost. Can you fit it in your car? And drive around with it. No. Okay. But if I had skeletal crystals standing out there next to him, (laughs) it would look like a little child. (laughs) Maybe that's his child. He looks like a White Walker from Game of Thrones. I don't know what that is. You probably would not like that show. No, I tried to watch the first episode and there was too much killing, so I didn't watch it Oh, and that wasn't even enough killing in the first episode. White Walker. (laughs) The main guy. Game of Thrones. I wrote Thrones. Yeah. He's got the blue eyes, and he's real thin, and, uh... Well, this guy has more skin on him. Yeah, but, I mean, you know, he does kind of look like him. He does not look like a bone guy. (laughs) He looks like a guy that got frozen. (laughs) Oh, yeah, White Walker, hello. Is he frozen? Yeah, he's up in the north. Well. Boy, that's an excellent show. And I liked the ending. Nobody else liked the ending. But I liked the ending to Lost. So, you know. Yeah, that was kind of bogue. Uh, what do you mean? Well, how are they supposed to end it? I mean, come on. They're not. They're supposed to keep it going on forever. Forever. That way I can see Josh Holloway say things like freckles. <laughs> Josh Holloway. You don't like Josh Holloway? I liked, um, oh, God, what was his name? The creepy guy? N- no, yeah, no. Ben, I liked Ben. I know you did. Um, oh my goodness gracious, I gotta look it up. There was Michael, the black fella. He whined too much. There was an Asian character. I liked him too. Jin he, was his name. Jin. Yeah, he. I just saw him in an article. He's going to be on Broadway or really something. Really enjoyed mm-hmm. him. Mm-hmm. Of course, Kate. I can see you saying, oh, I didn't like Kate. I had no problem with Kate. I like the blonde hair girl. I don't remember her. What about the English guy? That's the guy I liked. And then he... Uh, Saeed. Saeed. I did like Saeed. Oh, yeah. that's my. That was my man right there. Um, Locke. I love Locke. Who else was there? What was, what was uh, Freckles' name, the guy? Sawyer. Sawyer, yes. And then Jack, of course. Yes. I haven't watched this show in years, but I remember their names because I, I watched the show so intensely. Oh, yeah. I mean, you had well, to. we had nothing else to do. 
Yeah, this was, I mean, there was internet at the time, but not like it is now. You right. actually had to watch TV or go outside and jog. You had to yeah, and you things. couldn't, like, get up. You had to go pee during the commercials and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And you wanted to see what was in that damn hole. Well, it was the And chain- there was Hurley, too. Hurley! Yeah. Gotta like Hurley. Loved Hurley because it represented larger people. He was a larger guy. Yeah, I don't think he claimed that he was representing for... Well, it wasn't big gals or guys or whatever. It wasn't the focus, but it, it just shows like, oh, they had an Asian guy, a black guy, a white guy, a woman, an Asian woman, a well diverse TV program. A what? Well diverse. Exactly, and this is before they even really had a lot of diversity. Mm-hmm. Well diverse, and then they had Ben, who was just a creep. <laughs> <laughs> she likes those guys that look like this like oh, brad yeah. pitt and kind of got the beard and kind of don't and it's you like know. A partially shaven yeah breaking news folks looks like me and tina have another show that we have just added and it is in i just found out about this tour it is in uh new mexico the uh where the aliens land oh boy what's that um new mexico um Al- um albany roswell roswell Ooh, we were just there with tina so i don't know how many people are going to come out um hopefully people will come out that's, that's my- an odd place to go isn't it well uh we're already going to be over in Colorado at that time, so I think he's trying to get us stuff that's going. Shh. That's smart thinking, and then we can just go shh, so you're over not that way, zigzagging all over the place, zigzagging, and yeah. also it's just me and Tina driving, it's nobody else. We don't have four drivers like last time. Well, that's going to be fun. Well, <laughs> best letting her use our, her Jeep. So, oh well, that's nice. So we can take merch. Um, <gasps> Okay. I'm real low energy here today. I am too. I'm tired. We already did a mukbang today. I don't know why I'm tired. Because I, you're relaxed. You're not on high high uh, alert at all times. <laughs> That's probably true. You're yeah. not looking for dogs chewing up teeth. You're not looking for uh, stray cats outside that come in to eat and then you flood <laughs> them out. You're not looking at a husband with one leg that is doing whatever he does. And working. You're not... Uh, spraying down wasp nests in the yard and letting them circle you that's right and then squirting off the poison off the porch of the cats did and of course molly was running all over it well she's she's a little uh (laughs) special little girl she's special well she's in in between heat against all the boy cats are all around the house and i don't understand why she's going in heat She's been fixed. They said that something was left in her. They left like an ovary or something? Something. But she can't get pregnant. But, I mean, she's out on the sidewalk and the street. and She's having a good old time. Just right in front of everybody. Nobody wants to see that. Well, she don't care. She's doing her thing. And Maxwell's all barking it up, wanting another cat to get off of her. And Oh, my. He's mad as hell. Well, set him loose. Let him get the <laughs> other cat off of her. God, how disturbing. <laughs> I'm disgusted. <laughs> Ugh. How are you disgusted when you're living here? What does that mean? Well, you can't see it all the time. I'm disgusted thinking about it. Oh, okay. I thought you meant, how can you be disgusting because you're disgusting and you live in this disgusting basement? This isn't disgusting. I thought that's what you were saying. No, this is beautiful. What can you see in your camera behind you? Anything? What are we playing, like I Spy or something? Oh, no, I don't have I mean tur- a basketball? I don't have it turned around. I thought I had the thing turned around so you could see it. I meant behind oh, you. Oh, okay. What is this? I, sp- <laughs> I Spy? Dude, I wonder if you can see the two giant skeleton boxes. I can't see. It's and too the far hot away. babes up on the... The hot babes. Love the hot babes. They, I don't think they can see that, but the guy that lived here before... Me and Tina have talked about this. Back in the 80s, men always hung up pictures of Uh ladies. You can't get away with that anymore. You can't get away with hanging up sexy pictures of Hooters gals. That's right. You got to keep that private now. But why? How hornified are men that they have their work garage? 
because he's got a speaker in the ceiling. See it over there? I just oh, noticed it. Oh, that's pretty cool. He was he'd turn on his speaker and work, but then he could ever so often glance up at at Hooter Gals. And we got little teen flags over there. I guess this was like the early version of a man cave. Yeah, I like think back so. in the early eighties. Yeah. Maggie said, "Are you filming down there?" Why are you asking me? I'm telling you what she said. I didn't know you were texting Maggie. That's why Maggie said, are you filming down there? And I told her, yes, but you can make noise and interrupt. Because I don't want her to think she has to be quiet. Oh, okay. Yeah, so there's sports teams over there. We got the Bears, Eagles, Rams, the Buccaneers. Um, We've got a couple of racist ones that we're not going to say. we got a bunch of stuff here. Dale Earned Heart. R.I.P. Soft Rock. And there were way more pictures. Lumber. They were way more pictures, but they uh, took them down. Just a bunch of uh, gals in bikinis. Love a. Oh, it also says he's the. Um, Who's wanted by the, the FBI. FBI? The female body inspectors. <laughs> I'm in the uh, FBI. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> I, I, are the, you know, I forgot what I was going to say. I'm in the FBI. <laughs> Where'd you get that purse? I got this off the, uh, the Poshmark. It's a Nine West from 1990. I forgot what year. Wow. I got it for $13. It loves had new tags on it. Buying new purses off of Facebook I haven't bought one in a long time, but I love I love Nine West bags. When uh, I worked at the Famous Bar. Famous and Bar. Yes. So, I, I just, I like, and it's, I don't know, it's just, I like it. It's nice. It is very nice. It looks very modern. Yeah, but it's old, man. I like a pocketbook that I can wear like a fanny pack because I don't like carrying them. I don't know what to do with my hands. I feel like my hands should be doing something. So I just shift the fanny pack around, <laughs> you know, get in and out of it and move it. And can't, then you can't see over. Well, then nobody can steal it either. Right. I mean, but you can't see inside of it because of all this down here. And, what? Well, you know, your top part and your gut and, you know, you just can't see inside the thing. Okay. That's a good point. I wish you could show that video that I sent you the other day. No, I would never show that. The only time I would show that is if I had prisoners of war in here and I wanted to torture them and make them have anxiety. What the one on from the the trial thing, the Zoom trial? Oh, I thought you meant the bee, the bee wasp thing. Oh, that was very stressful. Oh, I oh yeah, I that. definitely can't show that. <laughs> oh my god, I laughed so hard. She sent the video, and I had seen it before, but I guess I just didn't remember how funny it was. It was a guy that came into the courtroom on Zoom and forgot to change his name. <laughs> I guess he had been gaming and changed it to something funny. <laughs> and the name was But Effer 3000, which is. <laughs> and the judge asked him if that was his name, and he actually said the name. He goes, What's your name? And the guy said his regular name, and then the, the judge goes, Your, name? your name's not But Fucker 3000, <laughs> you goon, or something, called him something. <laughs> and when the judge said it, I. I almost I almost lost my mind on the airplane. Oh my god, it was so funny. I don't know why I found it to be so funny, but I was rolling. And then the guy was like, "Well, I don't know how it would get like that." Thinking <laughs> he probably didn't realize that he he probably like had a kid that used Zoom during COVID or like or was playing a game or something. No, it's probably and, his. Or yeah, maybe he did it during a game, but he probably forgot to change it to his real name. I want to know what the 3000 means. Did oh, he, it just means he's an expert. Did that he used effort. to be, um, you know, 2000 or 1000? He probably started off as one. Yeah. Now he's worked up to his 3, way up. So he's probably up to probably like 10,000 or something now. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys know who BFR 3000 is, 
I forgot. Why was he in trial? I forgot what he was doing there. I don't know. But then the nobody was saying anything at the very end. The one guy laughed, which then. <laughs> Let me just play the audio because... I mean, and the judge is so serious. Oh, God, it's... I'm going to have to uh, block out when the word says it. Why? You can't say them words on the... No, you'd get get in trouble. Wasn't that the funny part? How can you block out the words? I'll just block out the, the F part. Huh. How do you do that? Well, you go in and edit and go beep. Oh, I've never done all that before. I don't know how to edit videos. Like I film something and I try to send it to you and it says this something is too long. I just oh, forget about it. And then she'll send me something and it'll not be what she just filmed. It'll be her looking at thing like this. <laughs> That's right. Good Lord. Later here. Now, nah, wow. Well. Good Lord, I swear, like, I feel like I have not slept in, like, a week. Me too. I could sleep all day, but I can't. I sleep all day. I don't get to really take a lot of naps lately, and that kind of makes me sad. Big nap fan. Oh, yeah, naps are great. Man logs into court with the username b Effer. <laughs> Then we'll bring this fool in. <clears throat> now, mind you, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's like eight people in the Zoom, like that are also coming into court. A judge, another district court guy. Good morning, sir. What's your name? Me? Yeah, you. Yes. Nathaniel Saxon, sir. Your name's not Butter 3000, you yo-ho. <laughs> Lying into my court with that as your screen name. <laughs> One we'll discuss that in a little bit. Uh, what kind of idiot logs into court like that? <laughs> What's your name again? Nathaniel Saxon, sir, but I don't believe that I type anything like that in. Well, that's what it says. Why? Well, I, I apologize. <laughs> yeah, you should. I'll put you in the waiting room. You can sit in limbo for a while and think about what you call yourself online. <laughs> it's uh, that Mr. guy's laugh. Nicole, could you take your hat off, please? Oh, my God in heaven. Right. I mean, I could listen the, to that all day long, and it never will not be funny. It was the last guy's laugh for me, though. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't let this fool in here. <laughs> What's your name, sir? And he's like, me? <laughs> yeah, you just got to search what, what I just said. Oh, God, I haven't laughed at her in a long oh time. That God. was funny. I was crying on the plane. I mean. And Chelsea was sleeping, and she asked me, she goes, what were you laughing at earlier? Yeah, that's my new thing now, the YouTube, watching uh, those Zoom courts. Irate mother keeps her kids from the dad and, you know. Oh, I've seen that one, I think. Well, yeah, because there's about five million of them on, oh. the, well, on I, the YouTube. I had to do, um, the hell? I had to do Zoom the first time I was trying to get a divorce. Yeah. And then and you couldn't log idiot in. Yeah. did not show up. Right. And then I'm calling him. Well, first of all, I'm trying to make a lot of jokes in there, and they weren't landing. You're you know? in court. I said, you're not going to hold me in contempt of court, oh, are yeah. you? And mm-hmm. she was. She didn't want to laugh at that, which I think is stupid. I mean, I my name wasn't Buttfucker 3000. <laughs> well, you were in a courtroom since you weren't on stage. There's a time to act a fool and a time not to act a fool. I wasn't being foolish. I was being funny. <laughs> Divorce is no laughing matter. Yeah, it is. Especially mine. <laughs> so that got dismissed because Ding Dong didn't show up. I thought it was tomorrow. But were you surprised, sis? No. Yeah, thank you. And then the second time when we were in person and went, and then after it was finalized, he goes, oh, no. Yeah. Which was so funny. Poor guy. <laughs> 
Annie, come on. She has a half of a lizard in the bathroom. Did you see it? No, I did not. Hmm. Yeah, I was grossed out. I didn't pick it up. Would you like to hear a voicemail and see what's going on? Sure on the voicemail thing. System? Yeah, I would really like that. Let me play the. You voicemail. got the answer machine going. Yep, got my answer machine. I just got to play the song first. <gasps> oh, was that me? Once upon a time, I had the voicemail. I would listen to them. Once upon a time, I'd open my phone and listen to them again. I like that. Voicemail, voicemail, it's time for a voicemail. That is a banger of a song. And believe it or not, I was singing that. I don't know if you knew that. Why wouldn't I know that was you? <laughs> who would I think? Who would I think it was? Barbara Streisand. <laughs> <laughs> Pat Benatar. It could have been. Where's the voicemail area? Come on. Lady Gaga. It was Lady Gaga. Hey, Libby. It's Brooke. Um, so I do this I do this weird thing, and I think it's, you know, just a coping mess probably, but I have a real bad habit of laughing at people when they try to discipline me or or be mean to me, like if somebody's mean to me, or my it often happens with my boss, who's just, that's a whole toxic situation. But anyway, um, I'm a laugher. I'm the kind of person who can can quite literally, I you know, I laugh at a funeral, and uh, sometimes it's because you know I'm like hell. I'm choosing to have a good day anyway. But oftentimes it's just a reaction because I think think it's really funny when somebody tries to go so far out of their way to um, be mean. It makes me laugh at them. What's wrong with you to be that way? Crack me up. Well, my boss is not the nicest guy, and he had a heart attack yesterday. So, as they were telling us in the office today, I was really struggling, and it was obvious I did not do a great job of hiding my smile or my um, giddiness. And I would say most most people in my life would say I am overly empathetic, like to to a fault where I take on other people's feelings and emotions. That, you know, if I see road go on the side of the road and, mm-hmm. and I have nightmares for days about how, what that animal went through, that kind of person, Me right? Me too. But uh, I'm surprised myself because not not feeling bad about this um just not and uh so i don't know maybe i'm changing maybe i'm becoming a psychopath or maybe he was just really mean all the time and miserable and it just didn't better off okay anyway that's all um i'll try to i'll update you and let you know whether he lives or dies but yeah i hope the guys have a great okay. day you're my favorite that was a nice call from Brick Brooke. The first thing I noticed about Brooke is she wasn't just picking up the phone and talking. She had work going on in the background. Yes. You tell she was shuffling she papers. She was multitasking. She really was. Uh yeah, it yeah, I mean you only got so much room in you to be sad for everybody. You know, you gotta pick and choose. But laughing is what Brooke's doing laughing. Well, I don't think she's you know, howling at the moon laughing <laughs> you know she's probably more laughing inside right you can cover up your mouth like that or wear a mask like mine annie stop it just maybe she should wear a mask from now on maybe she should <laughs> no i do the same thing i'll laugh when it's not appropriate um and even if it's not funny do you see what annie does now to make me better watch no i'm over here yeah, I think that's any animal that no. We watch all own. her paw. Watch her paw. Okay, it was very fascinating, sis. Are we on Wild Kingdom or are we I, on a? I taught Annie to. I don't think so. Tap the jar when she wants a treat. Oh, really? Well, that so, is impressive. And what's really smart is she took the tap, mm-hmm. and now she taps my hand when she wants me to pet her. Oh, see, did you well, see then, it? I I am impressed. Then what's impressive though is the 
the transferring of the skill of tapping to get something mm-hmm. that she wants. Well, my dogs actually talk to me and tell me to pet them. So Really? And my cats, yeah. Wow, so, that's yeah. really different. Uh-huh. I thought it was cool that she was tapping you, well, but if they, they're actually saying, would you pet me? I mean, me? my cats text me, will you please pet me now? They text you? Yeah, on my phone. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. So God, people. Annie's really not all that great. Annie, you're <laughs> smart. You oh, can tap mama. Yes. We She's only a- have consensual petting that's right no touching so if she doesn't tap me i don't pet her really because that tells me don't touch my body oh i did not know that i'm kidding oh okay but it is kind of like you know when she's had enough because she won't tap you anymore annie show the people on the camera you're tapping me well i think she already did and she's tired of being a pawn for your hey tap if you want to pet so now it's forced tapping no I'm trying to get her to not do the head thing and to tap instead. Wow. Something sis focuses on her and she thinks that they're, they're it's that, really fantastic. That is cool that a cat can tap you to tell you to pet it. No, sis. It's cool when a cat can tell you to pet it or text you to pet it. She is telling me by tapping me. Here, tap away. Tap, tap, tap. Tappity tap 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 right now. Oh, I love you, Annie. You're such a good girl. If she taps you, you'll know that you can pet her. Oh. <laughs> and you don't even have to put your hand up. I just put my hand up to showcase to the audience. Whoops, don't fall over. If I'm laying in bed and I just got my hands like this, she'll come up and go. Oh. With her dirty butt. Hello? Oh. Look at her. She fell down. Don't fall down. Oh, Annie's squirming around. She's like, this table's so slick. Her leg looks like a big turkey leg. Oh. I have been making um, songs on AI for like Slop City and stuff. I'm scared of that AI. I don't know what to do with it. Well. I'm going to make one for you right now, and you can pick what what things you want in your song. What kind of things would you like in your your AI song? I don't know. Let's see. What do you like? Work. I'll say sis instead of Lee. Sis likes to work. Let's put a song about... I like to drink Coca-Cola, Mountain Dew, and Sundrop that I just got introduced to is probably one of the top citrus sodas. Sis, a song about sis drinking Mountain Dew and Sundrop. Um, working a lot. Dog eating her teeth. Mm-hmm. What's, do you know what style you'd like this in? Um, G major. No, what style? So like techno, reggae. Oh, um, soft rock. Uh, let's do the soft rock. <laughs> soft genre. <laughs> or like, like journey or something. All right. It is going to create the song now. While it's creating that, we can... What program? you Is that an app you download? It's an app, and it's called, uh, oh, shit, I don't know. It's called, huh. It's called AI Song. Oh, okay. And I made a couple, wait a minute, what's going on here? This one, it's already coming up. Made two songs. One's called Mountain Dew Days, and the <laughs> other one's called <laughs> Mountain Dew Days. And and I we made one for Slap City that we're going to play. Uh, on the road. <laughs> Come to vibe. All right, so that huh. is. So you would push like hashtags in there or just words? Just words. Oh, wow. 
Now, is that you singing, too? No. I know. It's all robots. Oh, you're making a joke. I can't wait till Mountain Dew Days gets done. It says mellow, soft rock acoustic. <laughs> that, that's my that's my jam right there. Let's share this. Annie, come on. I thought that was supposed to debut on your other show. Whoa, Annie's foot pushed that. I'm going to airdrop this one to me. I was like, don't airdrop it to me. I don't know how to do all that. <laughs> well, because I already have this one hooked up. Come on, Annie. I'm trying to do something. Get out of Come here. Come here, Annie. Come here. Get the hell out of here. Libby's iPad. All right. Get the hell out of here. I just connected my iPad with my phone, and now text messages come up over my iPad, and I really don't particularly like that. I like to keep my iPad separate. Well, you did it now. Well, how do you undo those things? Uh, I'll have to look at it. Okay. All right, share with... I'm sharing both of them because this is the first time you're going to hear it here live, folks. Uh, I'm sure it's dull as I am. Well, we'll see. Annie, come on, bro. Uh, I gotta name this something else. Sorry, if you could just uh, give some shout outs while I'm doing this. Uh, I think I had some. Uh, uh, Kemp's Rainbow Sherbert sold at CNR Market in Boonville, Missouri. It is the best sherbet I've ever had in my entire life. Doesn't have the raspberry, which is fine. It has a lemon. Ew. It is excellent. And it has made my life very fulfilled. <laughs> and uh let's see, we've already done the Mountain Dew. Wait, sherbet has made your life very fulfilled? Yeah, it tastes so delicious. All right, are you ready? And then the blue plastic spaghetti strainer that I bought at Grandpa Pigeons, probably about mm, 1988. Okay. Finally, it not finally, but it just broke. I was very oh. sad. That thing has really been through life with me. I am so sorry to hear that. But it, yeah, but I mean, from Grandpa Pigeons, it probably didn't even cost like a dollar or something back then. And it, it really lasted. All right, you ready? Mm hmm. Sipping on Mountain Dew every day. <laughs> Sun setting low, orange and gray. Clock ticks, but time slips away. Her work never ends, no space to stray. Verse two. Dog chews on adventures, oh, what a scene. I was passed by coffee, always caffeine. <laughs> oh my god. Hands rough from toil and machine. Life ain't simple, just caught in between. There's a chorus. Oh my god, sis, that's like my life. Bills pile up high stress like a ghost. Yeah, it is. Her eyes tired, but still she boasts. Dreams faded like morning's toast. Oh yeah. Life ain't kind, but she does the most. Plowing through chores, no time to rest. Just her old dog, her only guest. Sun rises again, another test. What in the hell? No, 
the song is reading you. No, this is bizarre. Did you enter words in there that I did not know? We entered the words that I said. It ain't even done yet. Each sip of comfort, safety in a can. World spins crazy, she makes a stand. Denture's gone, but she don't <laughs> disband. It's a hard life, yet she still commands. Drop nights. Nice. Can't get any better than that. Was that it? Just that, ends abruptly? Oh, my God. What in the world? So that was the first one. I think they might have the same lyrics, but I don't know if this will be a different style. Let's check it out. We should have not picked Just soft rock. Sipping on Mountain Dew every day. <laughs> Sunset in low. Orange and gray Clock ticks but time Slips away Her work never ends No space to stray Dog chews on her dentures Oh what a scene Hours pass by coffee Always caffeine Hands rough from toil Well your hands don't get rough because you use a lot of lotion yes. Life ain't simple, just caught in between. Mountain Dew days, sun drop nights, endless hours, ain't no end in sight. Dogs got her teeth, ain't <laughs> nothing right. Is it making you cry? Just keep on. It's, it's working. very sad. It is sad. No end in sight. Bills pile up high, stress like a ghost. Her eyes tired, but still she boasts. Dreams faded like morning's toast. Life ain't kind, but she does the most. Plowing through chores, no time to rest. We should have made it in a in a faster tempo. Oh, wow. That was something else. Probably because I'm tired. That's all oh, your tube mascara is coming off now. Oh. When you make an AI song and it describes your life so perfectly, <laughs> you wonder. What's going are on? Are we living in a simulation? <laughs> How does it describe one's life so accurately? Maybe if we would have put Sherbert in there, it would have been a little uh, bit better. But I think having the sun drop, the Mountain Dew days and the sun drop nights. Yes, that's perfect. Woo. Because when you first tasted sun drop, it was last night, right? It was yesterday at the... at the, um, It was pretty close to night, right? It wasn't what? day. No, it was afternoon. Yeah, so what I'm saying is the song is correct. You drink your Mountain Dew in the morning. Right, I do do that. And you had the sun drop at night. Yes, that's And the correct. dog chewed the dentures... I mean, John Denver couldn't have written a better song. Am I right? Oh, my goodness gracious. Should we make a happy one? Because that... No. It's making your tubing mascara come well, all the way is, off. It is what it is. I thought you said this stuff doesn't run because you it said... It doesn't run, but what happens is when you get water on tubing mascara, the tubes come off. So you've got the tubes underneath your eyes. I don't understand this. What do you mean tubes? Okay, how often have you worn that mascara? Uh, this is my second time because I, I don't wear makeup anymore because I don't go anywhere. So when you take off tubing mascara, you don't have to have eye makeup remover. You just go put water and go like that and little tubes of black will come. Wow, that, uh, what? Oh my God. I have never in my life. It's probably got some kind of poison in it. But I got it for her because she always puts her mascara on and always runs. Yeah, and... I don't know why. I think my eyes are always watery. Arms. Did you want to go into the restroom and yeah, get your... Yeah, and then I'll get me a drink. And get you a drink, and me and Annie will sit here, and she's got my bottle right between her legs. I do. Annie does. Oh. And... I, like, I don't see a bottle. And while you're in there, I'm going to talk to the audience and make another happy... Oh, you know what I should do is go out there and get my teeth. You think what? they want to see them? Well... Uh -huh. I don't know. 
You don't think I should show them or do shit? I mean, you can, yeah. Well, if you don't want me to, I don't want you. You can do whatever you want. I'm writing a better song. Uh, I'm putting in her real real name instead of sis so that we can know it's... Oh, Annie, you're precious. Uh, what else can we say about her? She works hard. She's funny. She's giving. She's giving, girl. Um, she loves her family, just like Gary. She loves spreading her ass cheeks. No kidding. She loves um, giving Buddy Ray's perfume. If you don't know what that is, uh, I'll catch you up after this. Let's do an upbeat, upbeat genre. And do I pay quite a lot of money for this app? Yeah, but is it worth it? Was it like three ninety nine? More than three ninety nine. <laughs> it is worth it. Oh, it's called Sister Lee. Sister Lee, like she's a nun. Sister Lee has a mountain do days and the sun drop nights. Sounds like somebody's got the water on. Maybe Maggie's watering her garden. I want to show you guys something. Chelsea gave me this. Chelsea, Chelsea bought this, I think, at a at an antique mall and Ended up just giving it to me because she knew that I would love it. But check this out. Hello? Hello? But when it, back in the day when it rang, this is what it would do. I wonder what's ringing. Who did? Is that you? It gets stuck. Ringing or singing? It's me, Boob, stuck in this honey. Did somebody say honey? Did somebody say honey? It's Winnie the Pooh and Piglet's inside. Isn't that I adorable? Who did? Is that you? Oh. Or is it singing? Oh, dear. Where are you, Pooh? Oh. Rimming or singing? Oh. It sounds like he's saying rimming or singing. Remember when you... What is that noise? Honey. Bears love honeyhead kids. <laughs> Remember when we Oops. used to have to pick up the phone says and go, hello? Hello. I'm hearing or a I'll sound. I'll get it. How we used to fight over who got the telephone. Like, I don't want to get the telephone anymore. <laughs> Both of your songs are called Sister Lee. You can show your teeth right now if you want. I'm not going to show them in my mouth like I did yesterday. <laughs> crunch, crunch, crunch. The bottoms are just fine. Why don't you wear the bottoms? Oh, my God. Have you ever seen anybody just wear bottom dentures? Yeah, I love it. Uh, I ain't doing it. You'd rather have no teeth yes, than half teeth? that's exactly right. Why is that, you think? Because it looks ridiculous. Well. I mean, it would, you can't chew with them. Yeah, but you could look cool with them. We got Sister Lee 1 and Sister Lee 2. Do they both involve Mountain Dew? Uh, I don't actually remember what I put in there. This is Sister Lee 2. I mean, one. no, 2. the best lay works so hard <laughs> she's funny too she raises the bar oh giving and kind loves her fam in her heart she's got a plan lay is the light
gifts, but erases. So sweet and great. Her love spreads wide. Her ass spreads wide. Oh my god, it's safe. Every laugh, every cheer. Lee ain't spirit, always near. Stiffy, Tiffy. What's the girl who's really a hit now? Dates a football player. Taylor Swift. Oh, yeah, Taylor Swift, yeah. Really a hit. I like the electric guitar. Here's the other version. Already I'm feeling very excited about this. Play is the best. Works so hard. She's funny too. She raises the bar. Giving and kind. Loves her fam. In her heart. She's got a plan. Oh. What's your plan? That's what dad would say. We gotta update people that don't know what Buddy Ray's perfume is. Love Buddy Ray's perfume. I think about Buddy Ray a lot. <laughs> If I was I was glad I was there in his last, last day of life. Not me. I think I sent him on. I'm not the person for that. I um rubbed his feet and laid by him and talked to him and basically if you're gonna die you want sis by your side. <laughs> not me, because I will leave. <laughs> Just say I gotta go do something and never come back. Yep. <laughs> and that's terrible. Well, you ain't got time. You're busy. I didn't do that with dad, though. I stayed stayed with the, the end till dad. Yeah. With his funky ass. Uh, huh. I'm saying funky ass because he, my dad waited till we left the room. Yes, he did. To pass on. Yeah. Because. We've he, been sitting there for days and weeks and, and then we leave the room for one second and he gets the hell out of there he's like yeah now they're gone finally (laughs) (sighs) yeah well that's his problem for dying he should not die anymore Uh, that's what i'm talking about i was talking to chelsea about him and um she's like man i wish he was alive i'm like dad would think you guys were hysterical oh dad be cracking up he would love to go to the shows he would love to Oh yeah! Sit over there and listen to all them farting and carrying. Yeah, on. he would. He would have loved all that. Now, mom, on the other hand, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, mom, mom thought that her humor was the funniest humor. Like she thought her stuff was the best, but not anybody else's, right? And can you give us an example of some of her humor? Uh, you know, like um, hmm. Trying to think of those jokes she used to tell. Remember when she said, how could you, there was something like, how could you tell when a, a lady farts? Oh, the her ankles and her pantyhose would swell up. Right. Yes. That was mm-hmm. one of her favorites. Um, how does, <laughs> how, how can the deaf know somebody farted or something like that it was why do farts stink yeah why do so the deaf can smell so the deaf can enjoy yeah the deaf the <laughs> very progressive jokes uh, same jokes all the time why are buttholes or no why are turds tapered oh, that's another good one so your butthole don't slam shut yeah so turds are tapered so your butthole doesn't slam shut and these are the kind of quality jokes that my mom <laughs> was putting into the universe. Uh, I'm trying to think of some other ones. There was one that was kind of a long joke, and it ended up, the punchline was, um, oh, God, 
It was about I'm fucking nuts I'm, and I'm never getting out I'm of nothing, here. I'm never getting out of here. But oh, I guess it. there was a guy that was living in a, a sane asylum and he was always. Oh God, that's such a good humping a, a thing a of, bowl nuts. of nuts. And they said, "What are you doing?" It was a very long joke. It was it'd very. Be, long. I'm fucking nuts and I'm never getting out of here. <laughs> and <laughs> he's, oh he's humping a bowl of walnuts oh or something. Oh my! And she would go through the whole joke. There was one more. She. There was one more, and I think we talked about it on here last time, was uh, what's the difference between bowling and sex? And mind you, she would tell us these jokes when we were children. Oh, yeah. So you wonder ball. why I'm dirty on stage? That's why. What's the difference between bowling and sex? The balls are cleaner or something. I forgot what it was. The balls, the balls are not as heavy and... Oh, God, I can't remember it. I wonder if it's on the internet. It, it probably is because it's a street joke. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. And she'd tell them to everybody. Oh, yeah. She didn't care. I, I like people I talk to on the phone. Do you want to hear an inappropriate joke? I'm like, sure. And some of them are so bad. Not like me, but just, oh. Do you laugh? Of course I'd laugh. I mean, I <laughs> You know. Are they older people? Yes. Older people love to say, Are you hardly working or hardly... Are you working hard or hardly working? Yeah, there we go. It's that, that kind of, those kind of jokes. And what do you say? Um, I don't know what I say. <laughs> Our mom used of... to say, You know how to look 20 years younger? Take off your bra. <laughs> Because your boob boobs pull down the weight of your skin. And she would, if you say, man, something stinks, and she'd say, is it your upper lip? I've never heard her say that. Yeah. Hmm. That's your upper odd. lip. Or put your legs together. That She used to tell you that a lot. Did it's, she? I don't remember that one. It stinks in here. Well, why don't you put your legs together? <laughs> we are fucked up. <laughs> if mom was alive, I'd call DFS on her. Oh, that, that's ridiculous. Yeah, I would. I'd say, hello. Mom's D- making fun of us. DFS? Call the law. Yeah. Well, we always had food and clothes. No, oh, no, we didn't. <laughs> I don't know where you were living. <laughs> we didn't get this way from not eating. I remember one time I was going somewhere with Rhonda, and I just wanted a pair of jeans to wear. I had one pair of jeans, and they had holes in them. Uh-huh. And I'm like, I just want, I was cussing her. I just want some fucking jeans, Mom. I need some clothes. Oh, I didn't have no clothes. Huh? All my clothes were torn up. Well, you should have started working. Got your boat, your own clothes. At 10 years old, I yeah. could not get a job. Well, yeah, I did could've. work at the mini mart <laughs> and got 50. Sweeping. I think I got $5, but I was sweeping and putting up Coke. But first of all, that's illegal child labor. <laughs> and secondly, I didn't get to do it every week because they had other kids like switching. Yeah, that was like the best store. Oh, you know, any store is good when they have a giant jar of pickles. Oh, to get the pickles, what were they, 50 cents? Uh, I don't think they were that high because you could get two packs of Suzy Q's <laughs> and a soda for under a dollar. Whoa, yeah. baby. And they had that, they had like the pimento loaf and the olive loaf and the head cheese. They, you know, they, they, in that little make you a sandwich or you get takeaway cold cuts that was a nice mini mart yeah it was they had the big candy thing where you could get the penny candy yeah and you know that lady was irritated because you'd be like give me one tootsie roll (laughs) give me one bubble gum and give me another tootsie roll and i don't know why uh, i think i talked like that as a kid well see that's why i couldn't ever work like at the chuck e cheese because when the kids have those points and they sit there and try to, They're you know, like, from the mm. fake tattoo to the laffy taffy. Do I want the little to frog the spider you... ring? Yeah, no, I'm like, come on, kid. It's all <laughs> worthless <laughs> it's junk. garbage. Let's just get going here. God, I think they should hire you there because then it'll move the kids along. <laughs> the kid's like, mm, I got 500 tickets. I want, I want that CD disc player. No, you need 250,000 tickets. <laughs> I just give it to him, I just to move him along. Okay, here you go. <laughs> that lady wouldn't give me my disc player. I mean, what, what do they count the spider rings at the end of the night? 
I mean, come on. What were those little candies and they were little chocolate balls in a pack? It had like a green, red, blue. Oh, what were those? Stickies or scotchies or... They weren't dots. Oh, God. I love dots. It was IES something. (laughs) What color? Green? I don't know. Yeah, green, brown. They were just like little balls in in a little bogus, you know, like a little tiny sleeve little ball candy and you take the sleeve and open it with your mouth and then put all the candy in there well yeah because that equaled up to a half an inch worth of candy (laughs) red brown god what were those things called green (sighs) to show our age we were watching benny hill on youtube last and we were cracking up if you've never seen Benny Hill, you got to go watch Very it. Very old, and it's British. We've always liked British humor. Very old, and it was very naughty at the time. Yeah, very naughty. Was it Sixlets? Yeah, that's it. Original Sixlets. Why yeah. is it original? Maybe they have another version that's huh. not Sixlets. Hi, can I get a pack of cig? Okay, I want a pack of cigarettes. The jumping frog that you push the butt. A spider ring. I want an eraser. I want an eraser. One of those things you put on the finger, and it's a guy going. <laughs> you know what I'm I want talking the about? Fake long fingernail for one finger. One fake long fingernail. <laughs> uh, I want the parachute guy that never. The parachute always gets tangled up. I, I want the. Uh, I want that mini sling, uh, uh, slingy. What was that called? The slinky? Slinky. I want the mini plastic slinky. I also want the little top that you spin, it's, but it's only this big. <laughs> yeah. I want, uh, I want the want sticker. That, I want that real ruby ring. All right. You have 400 tickets <laughs> left. Okay. Uh, give me a now and later. <laughs> and we're working at two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> that's why they serve alcohol there i don't understand that but you know i at, guess because one parent's got to be boozing it up oh yeah there ain't no way they're being they're going to be okay because i always say that place is hell on earth uh, yeah but i i you always took, I always kids, took there. The kids there yeah you it just go in there me. and set them free well, yeah as long as i could see them and stuff you know they had a good salad bar god their pizza was woo Horrible. Terrible. Oh, my God. Well, let's be honest. Chuck E. Cheese isn't about the pizza. It's about the fun. The fun and the yeah. family time, the rides, the ball pits. Uh-huh. The, I don't think they really had rides. They had that one that you'd sit on and go in a circle. Oh, I don't remember that one. It was for very small children. Oh, you'd okay. you just sit on it. It was like a chair, and it would just go. Yeah, I don't remember that one. Well, they had the cars, too, where the kids would sit there like this, and the cars going. <laughs> And the kids like, I mean, like, back in the day for us to get in them rides, it was like in front of a grocery store or like a Woolworths, and they had the horse the that horse? you got on, and they put the 50 cents in, and it, you know, rocked you back and forth. And, man, we would think that that's highfalutin stuff. Highfalutin, and then the parents had to stand there like. Because <laughs> they know they ain't getting out of there without one of us riding. And then you can't, then they can't afford it and put like four kids on it for the 150 cent, you know. Really? I wonder, why don't they have those anymore? I don't ever see those. Children today would laugh at those. They don't know how fun it is to sit on a freaking horse outside of a Kmart and go <laughs> back and forth. Oh, man, I was thinking about... Them Kmart sandwiches, sub sandwiches. That's what I was talking about last week. Dang. And somebody, I wasn't talking the blue about the light sandwiches. Specials. I was talking about the blue light specials, but I was talking about the, the burritos. Oh, I, I never, never had, had the, the burrito. Subs, but oh somebody my God, commented they're... that their subs were delicious. Hell yeah, they were delicious. And the Frosties or Slurpees, what were they yes. called? Yes, Icy's. Icy's. Yeah. I like, you know, because they'd run a blue light special, you know, when they were like on sale or, you know, trying to get rid of some. Oh, those are so good. Blue light special on sandwiches. <laughs> Everybody run over there. Yeah, they really, they had some good food the old Kmart. Kmart, I thought was very expensive. Well, yeah. I, 
Yeah. It, I felt like it was too. Yeah, I their, like Ventures. The, they had their Jacqueline Smith collection, which was a, a collection of women's workwear. Yeah. Boy, she still looks good. Is she alive? Yeah. She looks really good. Mm-hmm. If you're out there and you know Jacqueline Smith, tell her we loved her women's workwear line that she sold at Kmart. It was incredible. And as long a, lasting. As a you 12 can... or 13 year old wearing shoulder pads, <laughs> you don't get no better than that. <laughs> Very versatile. Very versatile. You could get a job anywhere for anywhere from. And then you could like leave work. Add a couple accessories. You had the night. Right. Night, yeah. Nighttime mm-hmm. wear. Yeah. Put that, some red lipstick on, a pair of earrings, and you're ready to go. I saw a girl on um, TikTok who said that for the last 30 years, she's ended her shampoo, you know, washing her hair with uh-huh. a, with a, spl- with a, a splash of cold water. Okay. Do you remember that trend? Back in the day, they told us, after you wash your hair, have the last 30 seconds be cold. And I've it, heard that before, And yes. it will invigorate mm-hmm. your hair. And I, she goes, I've been doing this for 30 years, and it doesn't do anything. No, it doesn't, but freak you out because the cold water's hitting Oh, yeah. You. But yeah. they told us, back in the day, you got to do that because it'll make your hair bright and shiny. Yeah, I did not do that. I just used that shampoo that had beer in it. Huh? Remember the beer shampoo? No. Yeah, and it was shaped like a beer bottle. <laughs> what? <laughs> huh? Oh. Beer shampoo? Beer shampoo. I got to look that up. Well, I talked about Prell last time, I think. Oh, I thought of one, and I thought I got to talk about that one. Oh, God, what was that shampoo? And it smelled so good. Um there was another no it, it was like the fancy shampoo um herbal essence no i liked herbal essence that ain't old oh my god what was that that's gonna drive me bananas let's see here beer shampoo yeah i'll see i'm not as fast as you the are. teeth man just sitting there looking at me chewed up Let's see here. Yeah, well. Let's play a song. Yep, there it is. What's it called? Huh. Maybe, well, I mean, there's the, uh, yeah, it's called Body on Tap. (laughs) (laughs) It's got... (laughs) Man, I wanted some of that. They got the oily, the normal, and the dry. Huh. Where did you get... Man, I wanted some of that. I thought you said you did wash your hair with it. Maybe I did. I don't know. Body on tap. I I was hoping maybe Grandma would buy it for me or something. Grandma ain't buying that. I gotta look it up. Yeah. Body, Body on, on tap. tap. Oh, my <laughs> God. I remember this. Yes. Kim Basinger. Kim, oh, did she? Kim Basinger. How do you say her name? Uh, Kim Basinger. Basinger. Kim Basinger. Mm-hmm. The commercial. Boy, she's pretty. Body on tap. Body on tap. The beer enriched shampoo for super body, super hold, and the shine of your life. Brewed with one third real beer. Wow. But don't drink it. Just shampoo. <laughs> Whether I pin it, roll it, curl it. Or blow it dry. Body on tap gives me super body. Super body. Super. Whoa! And super drunk. Super sexual. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to end this, sis, but I'm going to play one song as we go out because we are at an hour. F- and we want to all collectively thank sis for being on the podcast. Thank you. Is Thank there, you. Is there any, any kind of more shout outs you want to give out before we play this Beside song? Beside the Sherbert. I did have it written down, but I can't find the notebook. I thought you uh, had it in your phone. Well, but we've already hit those topics, so <laughs> let's see here. Uh, huh. Hmm. Let's see here. Well, maybe I took the wrong notebook. Check basement, gum, hang screen, dog food. That was a list. Hmm. I don't know what I wrote down. 
I don't remember. Underoos. Ready, sis? Yes. What is this? It's beeping. It's not supposed to be beeping. <laughs> it's going to blow your mind. Sweet dreams you can't resist. I love white chocolate. I'd have to disagree with that commercial. What is that guy doing with that woman? You don't remember this commercial? No. Sis, this was 1986, the year you graduated from high school. Well, I was working and going to school. You think I had time to be watching TV? Creamy white. <laughs> you know, and Hershey's is the best chocolate. I'm sorry. It's not about what's the best chocolate. It's about a commercial that was made for a candy bar that makes you think people are going to have sex. Because there was only like 10 candy bars to choose from back then. So they had to really... We're going to bring it up one more time just for sis to see. Is that Tina skating? Sweet dreams you can't <laughs> oh, Alpine White with the almonds. Look at that guy. <laughs> She's having a good old time. I don't know what that has to do with chocolate, though. The lady in the background. Yeah. Oh! I mean, they were. Uh, I went on a deep dive on that one night. Found the guy who wrote it. Oh, really? He did a whole interview about that. <laughs> the one of the model, the guy model. Yeah. I read a Reddit thing where he's like, "I was the model in that." <laughs> <laughs> Dreamy watch. <laughs> There's nothing funnier than that commercial. There's nothing funnier. Not even Buttfucker 3000. Oh, no. There's lots of other funnier no. things. Well, we can say in the chocolate commercial business. Is, yeah, there we go. In the chocolate, in the candy bar commercial business, that is hands down the best commercial that was ever created. Is that like milk, milk, lemonade, round, round the, the corner, corner chocolates made? Well, that wasn't a commercial for a particular <laughs> candy bar. That was, <laughs> <laughs> that was for your doo-doo. <laughs> milk, milk, <laughs> lemonade around, around the, the corner. Chocolate's made. made. That's disgusting. <laughs> and for a little child to be saying milk, milk, <laughs> lemonade this around is... the corner, Dookie's made. I mean, we would repeat it over and over again. It just didn't well, make I any sense. Well, I think that's a little bit of a bit of our uh, <laughs> neurodivergency as repeating stuff over and over and over and over. Oh, my God. Baby white. <laughs> All right, sis. Thanks for joining us again. Well, thank you. And I really do enjoy uh, y'all listening, and everybody's very kind to me. That. Oh, sorry. You were saying something? Oh, yeah. Everybody's <laughs> very kind, and I do appreciate Oh, I'm sorry. It beeped. It's beeping out something you're saying. Say it one more time. I'll listen this time. I, I'm listening. Y- y'all understand. <laughs> That's like, you know... Having someone, okay, I'm going to come get in a car, and then they take off a little bit and make you run after the car. Yeah, They what? <laughs> make you run after the car. I hope that board blows up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Say what you're going to say. I hope that board blows no, up. No, you were, you were saying thanks, everybody, for listening. Yes, everybody's very kind to me. <laughs> I'm going to smash that board when I get off of here <laughs> with a big sledgehammer. A matter of fact, a big weight over there. 45 pounds. I've been lifting that all. No, I haven't. One day I do want to be able to go. She did lift an 800-pound bag of sand yesterday. It was 50 pounds. I lifted it like it was nothing. Yeah, she so, sure did. I was very, very proud. Bench pressing 55 pounds on the press machine. You and lift, I could go bro. higher. You lift, bro. I do. And I could go higher. But I'm trying not to get. 
uh, I don't want to be Arnold Schwarzenegger big in a couple days. All right, guys. So everybody say goodbye. We say are leaving. Goodbye. Batter, batter, batter. Doo, doo, doo. Hello? Hopefully next time I'm here, I'll have some Hello? fake teeth. Oh, you will. Fake teeth. Fake teeth. Fake teeth. Love you. Love you. Bye.